Hello, welcome to this beautiful session of ours today. I'm your instructor, CPA Ringo Frederick. In our class, we want us to look at something very interesting in our business data analytics. And the whole idea of our class today is that to look at uh, the specialized area in business data analytics. This specialized area, remember, it includes the aspect to do with uh, auditing, talk about taxation, as well as management accounting. Remember in our series of uh, us uh, working out uh, solutions for August uh, 2023 exams, we did uh, all the questions from question 21 up to question number 24. In our session today, basically, our focus will be on question number 25. And this focus of ours, or rather our focus today, basically, it is about taxation, application of BDA in taxation. These are the specialized areas. And the key area that we are talking of today is all about partnership. This is what was attested. Partnership. This is what was attested in a last sitting uh, paper. That is, of course, August uh, 2023. So the whole idea of a partnership, remember for a student who have handled that question, well, this student was supposed to be having a very clear knowledge of tax. And by the way, the concept that you're going to study today not only apply to BDA students. So long as you're doing taxation in whichever course that you're doing, then this video is for you guys. At the same time, below, uh, maybe uh, if, if you're continuing with watching the video at the same time, or after the video, you can literally download the attachment just below this video. I'm going to attach this Excel workbook, which you can literally download for you to also use it in practice. This is a concept. Before we jump to that question, I want us first of all to have a whole idea of a partnership. And remember, you're talking about partnership in taxation setup. Anytime you're talking about partnership, my good students, we must be able to understand one thing that, first of all, partnership is not recognized as a person. Partnership is not recognized as a person when it comes to the laws of Kenya. We don't recognize partnership as a person. But the individuals who have formed this partnership are the people or parties whom we are going to recognize as persons. And therefore, it is these individuals that are going to be taxed. That is one thing that you must be able to understand anytime you're talking about partnership. That partnership, ideally, it is not recognized as a partner, as, as, as a person, the partnership business. But instead, the individuals who have formed this business are literally the ones who are going to be, to be taxed. That is one item that you must be able to understand. That is aspect to do or when you're talking about what formation, right? We say that partnership is not recognized as a person. The other item that you must be able to understand is that at any given point, whenever you're talking of partnership, basically, we'll be looking at these three scenarios. I'll be looking at, number one, talk about aspect to do with the uh, admission of a partner. In this case, we can talk of aspect of conversion. Conversion of a partner, conversion of a partnership business, conversion of partnership business to an LTD. Then the other key scenarios talk about what? Retirement or basically death of a partner. So these are the three scenarios that we'll be looking at anytime you're handling what? Anytime you're handling partnership. Then on this case, my good students, one of the most important items that you should basically be able to understand here clearly is that all of these items, the three items that we've listed here, they'll share these characteristics. I'll be talking of the two periods. Okay? These are the periods before and after the periods before admission and after admission, the period before conversion and after conversion, 
the period before retirement and after retirement. So the whole idea is that we'll be talking of what between the two periods. Now, another clue that Molim will also share with us in this class today is that at any given point before we reach at the determination of the incomes to be shared amongst the partners, there's one main element that must always click at the back of our mind of course we must be able to understand how to prepare the profit allocation schedule that is number one number two we must be able to also understand the concepts to do with allowable expenses non-allowable expenses taxable income as well as non-taxable income when it comes to partnership okay so on this case, let us just dissect briefly uh, the aspects to do with, uh, we can talk about uh, key element, non-allowable expenses. Non-allowable expenses. Let us dissect this. Non-allowable expenses. When we are talking of non-allowable expenses in this context, Migu students, we are looking at the expenses that, yes, the company or the farm has incurred, but literally they are not going to assist us to reduce the taxable income. That is to say, yes, I am having these expenses that is incurred, but as at the end of the day, we are not going to do it. We are not going to deduct them from our income. So that's why we are terming them as non allowable expense. They are not going to assist us to reduce our incomes. So the first non allowable expense here when it comes to partnership, basically, we normally tend to talk about salaries to partners. Talk about salaries to partners. Uh -huh. Number two item here, my good students, you can talk about aspect of uh, interest on capital. Interest on capital. Okay, to partners. Number three here, my good students, you normally tend to talk about commissions paid to partners. Commission paid to partners. Uh -huh. Number three, or rather number four, you normally tend to talk about medical expenses in excess of one million. Uh-huh. The other now variables or expenses basically are the normal one, like talk about all other non allowable expenses, just like any other business. But key items that you must be able to always have in mind we read about salaries to partners, interest on capital, commission paid to partners, medical expenses in excess of 1 million, uh, partners' private expenses, partners' private expenses and of course now talk about non-allowable expenses just like any other business non-allowable expenses non-allowable expenses just like any other business this is very vital for us to be able to understand this is very vital for us to be able to understand so at this point you understand that uh, even for those who are teaching or uh, those who are training business data analytics more so when it comes to CASNED, at least you must be having a knowledge when it comes to matters to do with taxation, more so when it comes to the specialized areas, right? That's why at this point, Molimo is encouraging us. For those who are planning to do business data analytics in December and you've not yet joined MDRASA, I'm not sure what you're waiting for. You've not joined MDRASA for your business data analytic, analytics classes, I'm not sure what you're waiting for. I'm not sure what you're waiting for. So, because uh, at this point, you'll find that uh, literally there are some specific areas that at least you must get an expert for you to be guided clearly, right? And that is what you normally provide you guys. So, you'll find that uh, basically this is uh, non allowable expenses. Uh, the other element that uh, maybe again we should be able to understand ideally is what we are referring to as non-taxable income, right? Talk about probably non-taxable income. And non-taxable income, actually, I'm not going to write it because mainly, uh, other than the other normal non-taxable income, at this point, you'll find that whenever you're having interest on drawings, interest on drawings, 
will be adjusted in our books here. The interest on drawings, this is an income that the partnership is earning, yes, but as at the end of the day, this is not supposed to be taken as taxable income. Therefore, it will be taken as what? As non taxable income. So if you can compare with the other items, that is a special, that is a special, that's a special income that you normally treat it differently. Then number three item that you must be able to understand when it comes to partnership is what Mwalimu said, the aspect to do what? Allocation schedule. Profit. Allocation. Schedule. This is very important that you do understand how to prepare the profit allocation schedule. Profit share. Because as at the end of the day, when we started, we said that partnership is not recognized as a person in law. So therefore, also in determination of uh, tax, tax payable, therefore, it should be pinned on the individual partners. So in this case, my good students, preparing our profit allocation schedule, these are what we will be required to have in mind. I should be having this. Let me just prepare it in brief. Assuming I'm having partner A. And I'm having partner B here. We can have our total values here. Okay. So uh, once we have this. These are what Molim would want to prepare. I'm having our details at this point. So we are going to start with the salaries, of course, attributable to these partners. So talk about salaries here. Talk about our salaries. These are salaries to partners. Give us a total value there. Interest on capital interest on capital interest on capital we have it there talk about basically what you are referring to as commission paid so commission paid remember all these items are what is going to be distributed to these partners of ours, right? Then the other item here, we are having interest on drawings. Interest on drawings. Interest on drawings literally will reduce the value that the partners will be earning. Uh -huh. So that as at the end of the day, we will be talking of the share of profit so this is our share of profit here share of profit share of profit and what i want us to understand here clearly my good student is this on the share of profit we are going to take the value that will have determined in our aspect of statement you see the profit that you have determined in your statement when you are preparing basically your statement that is uh, of course the uh, determination of uh, the profit to be shared or rather determination of uh, the partnership profit and recall we normally tend to talk of course in our previous classes we've been talking of uh, the format of presentation the format of presentation literally this is what will literally give us what we need to do what what we need or how we need to prepare these statements so the profit that i'm going to generate from our statement that is a figure that i'll be having it here that's a figure that i'll be having it at that point it is from that income or profit i'm going to adjust for all these items i'm going to adjust for all those items so that the balance figure here the balancing figure here this is now what i'm going to do what that is now what i'm going to share that is now what you are going to, to share. That's what you are now going to share basically amongst our partners according to their profit 
sharing ratio according to their profit sharing ratio that is what you're going to do so this is a what will always be required to master when it comes to partnership number one we said that partnership is not recognized as a business or rather it's not recognized as a person in law then number two basically you will find that whenever you have persons, basically at this point, if I can take you back to what you did in your law, artificial person or legal person, and of course, the natural person. Natural person now is me and you, right? Whereas whenever you have artificial person or legal person, now we are talking about what? The companies, right? And in this case, you'll find that this partnership is not, partnership business ideal is not a person when it comes to matters to do with law. So that's why we consider what? The income that each individual person is going to earn. Number three, or rather number two item to consider is that you must understand that for partnership, basically, I'll be having these components. I'll be having three scenarios, admission, retirement or death, and conversion of partnership into a limited company. Both will be having two periods. The period before conversion and period after conversion, period before admission and the period after admission, period before retirement and the period after retirement. Two periods, okay? The other item that we mentioned is very key for you to be able to understand literally here is to understand the non-allowable expenses. And you can see the non-allowable expenses the one that we've taken in preparing our statements are the same values or components that we've come and considered in our profit allocation schedule. That is very important for you guys to always be having them in mind. Now, how are we then going to tax this? Because this is literally now what you'll be having as what? As income from partnership business. Income, taxable income from partnership business. Taxable income from partnership business. Taxable income from partnership business not unless each individual now as a person say we are talking of partner a and partner b unless they had other incomes from elsewhere we are going to add them to this partnership business then we tax them accordingly so if you can check the question that was attested basically in a sitting it was a very simple question in relation to partnership and you are going to do that basically in our next class so that you'll be able to understand how these things are very, very easy. At this point, I also want to take this chance to invite you guys to our classes, which literally commence this week, whereby you can join either of our packages, the pre-recorded version or the live virtual classes, specifically for business data analytics, specifically for business data analytics students. Our classes will always be on Fridays, our classes for BDA, classes for BDA, we'll be having them on Fridays from 7.30 to 9.30, in this case, in the evening, p.m. Whereas on Saturdays, we'll be having these classes for BDA from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. So for those who are interested in joining in the RASA classes for business data analytics, you can always reach us out on the number indicated below this video. On this same video, I'm going to attach a link for the last sitting business data analytics paper, practical. I believe it will really, really help you guys. Remember, we've handled almost all the questions in that uh, paper which was done last sitting. So you can also, if I at all you... Uh, subscribe to either of the package, you'll be able to have access to all the solutions for the same. To this point, guys, thank you so much. Let us meet in our next session where now we are going to handle that question for business data analytics, question number 25 for taxation, which was tested in August 2023. To that point, let us meet each other in the next session. Thank you, guys. See you then.